step into the world of a classic 1970 TV series that's sure to evoke nostalgia and spark some memories. All My Children, a show filled with funny, shocking, and sad moments, has left a lasting impact on television history. But did you know there's more to the story than meets the eye? Have you ever shared a special moment while watching this classic series? Maybe a family gathering centered around the TV or a quiet afternoon with loved ones. As we explore the show's history, you might find yourself reminiscing about those special memories. And here's the twist. There are lesser known facts and anecdotes that will surprise you. Curious to know them all? Stick around because we've got a riveting journey ahead. From behind the scenes tales to unexpected plot twists, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're all ears and eager to dive into the rich history of these moments. So keep watching for the scoop on hidden gems and don't forget to drop your own stories in the comments. Your tales might just be the missing piece to our puzzle. Get ready for a trip down memory lane. All My Children, the 1970 TV series, holds a special place in TV history, making a lasting impact. It broke new ground by addressing social issues like abortion, divorce, and interracial relationships, integrating them into the storyline of the fictional town of Pine Valley. This approach made it more than just a source of entertainment, but a reflection of changing societal norms. The characters of Pine Valley became part of our collective consciousness. The show crafted relatable and authentic characters like Erica Kane and Brooke English, creating emotional connections with viewers that went beyond the TV screen. Additionally, the show demonstrated a commitment to diversity, featuring one of the first openly gay characters on daytime television. This move not only mirrored societal changes, but also set a precedent for inclusivity in the medium. The show's willingness to tackle tough subjects contributed to its lasting relevance. Decades after its debut, All My Children continues to influence TV storytelling. Its impact on the soap opera genre is significant, inspiring subsequent shows to adopt its bold approach. The show's influence can be seen in the way modern TV series address societal issues with nuance and authenticity. In conclusion, the legacy of All My Children goes beyond the past. It continues to shape TV storytelling. Its impact, commitment to diversity, and ability to connect with audiences ensure its enduring relevance. Reflecting on the show's journey, we recognize it as a pivotal force that shaped how we perceive and engage with television narratives. In the world of TV production, All My Children, the 1970 series, broke new ground in storytelling, leaving its imprint on the industry. The creators, producers, and directors behind this show crafted a compelling narrative that went beyond the typical soap opera of its time. Steering away from the usual, they embraced societal changes, weaving engaging plots that tackled taboo subjects like abortion, divorce, and interracial relationships. Leading this innovative project were visionary creators and producers dedicated to shaping a narrative reflecting evolving societal norms. Their foresight led to the inclusion of one of the first openly gay characters on daytime television, showcasing the show's commitment to diversity. These choices weren't just for shock value, they strategically created a vibrant and authentic cast of characters in the fictional town of Pine Valley. The casting process, a crucial part of any production, brought together a cast of talented individuals who brought the multifaceted characters of Pine Valley to life. Main actors, including figures like Erica Kane and Brooke English, portrayed roles that extended beyond the screen, forming enduring connections with the audience. The chemistry among cast members highlighted the careful casting process that aimed to capture the essence of the characters and their relationships. Exploring casting trivia reveals fascinating stories about how certain actors landed their roles, adding layers of interest to the show's history. Casting directors navigated a challenging landscape, ensuring the ensemble cast not only embodied the characters, but also resonated with the diverse audience. Each actor brought a unique flair, contributing to the show's ability to captivate viewers with relatable and authentic portrayals. Unveiling behind-the-scenes tales, it becomes clear that All My Children wasn't just a soap opera. It was a dynamic force that influenced television storytelling. Its impact on subsequent shows, inspiring them to take a bold approach in addressing societal issues, echoes through the history of TV. The lasting relevance of All My Children lies not only in its past, but in its ongoing influence on how we perceive and engage with television narratives. 
In conclusion, the 1970 TV series stands as a testament to the creative prowess of its creators, producers, directors, and cast. Their contributions pave the way for a new era in television, leaving a lasting impression that continues to echo in the ever-changing landscape of storytelling. The popularity of the show has lasted a long time and it has influenced many other TV shows. Since 2011, parts of the show's set have been used again in General Hospital. For example, the Chandler Mansion set was changed to be Anna Devane's house in General Hospital. This shows how the show's style continues to be important and how it uses its resources wisely. The show has been loved by many people, including famous ones. Carol Burnett, a well-known comedian and actress, really liked the show. She talked about it a lot on her own show, The Carol Burnett Show. This shows how much the show was liked by different kinds of people, even those who work in entertainment. Another interesting thing about the show is the personal experiences of the actors. For instance, Michael Nader, who played Dimitri Merrick, had to deal with losing his hair when he came back to the show in 2013. He decided to go for a nearly bald look because he joked that he couldn't compete with Thorsten Kaye's full head of hair. This story shows the friendly and funny relationships between the actors off-screen. All these things how the show influenced other TV productions, how it was a big part of popular culture, and the personal stories of the actors show how the show has made a lasting impression. It has stayed important in the TV world and in the memories of its viewers. In the long history of this beloved television series, a noteworthy aspect was the continuity of its original cast members. By 2006, Susan Lucci and Ray McDonald remained as the only original cast members. Lucci portraying Erica Kane and McDonald playing Joe Martin, the hospital chief of staff, provided a sense of consistency and familiarity to longtime viewers. Their continued presence on the show highlighted the deep connection they had with their characters and the affection the audience had for them. Regarding salaries, it's notable that during the first season, Susan Lucci, who later became one of the most recognizable faces of the series, received a relatively lower salary. This fact reflects the early days of television production when the commercial success and longevity of a show were uncertain. Lucci's journey from these humble beginnings to becoming a household name exemplifies the potential growth and recognition actors can achieve in the television industry. A significant milestone in the history of American soap operas occurred in 2008 with the introduction of Reese Williams and Bianca Montgomery as a couple. Their relationship was groundbreaking in several ways. They were the first to feature a same-sex marriage proposal, followed by the first legal same-sex wedding and marriage in an American daytime soap opera. Moreover, their on-screen family was the first to depict same-sex parents in American daytime television history. This storyline marked a significant step in television storytelling, reflecting societal changes and pushing the boundaries of traditional narratives in daytime television. These elements underscore the show's commitment to evolving with the times and addressing contemporary issues. From the steadfast presence of its original cast to the pioneering representation of same-sex relationships, the series consistently demonstrated its relevance and influence in the television landscape.